BS Entity. Okay, uh, let's start off with uh, Knight F3. Let's see what we got here. Okay, plays uh, symmetrically. Would have gone for the red T, but it looks like this is uh, going to transform into an English. The red T, it's after uh, D5, you play C4. Red T gambit if he takes it. Goes G6. Okay, let's get the other knight out. Yeah, it looks like we're getting some kind of symmetric setup. He could play with d6 and e5 and go for a uh, king's indian. It looks like he's heading that direction. And um, well, I could go with the fianchetto against the king's indian. I guess that's all right. So d4 here. I'm quite decided what I'm doing with the queen's bishop. I mean, uh, at the right time, maybe I could play b3 and bishop b2. As long as I'm not too weak on this diagonal. It was important to block the diagonal with this pawn first, I guess. Yeah, I think I like that. I mean, the other option would be to play the bishop out to uh, e3 and queen d2 and try and trade off his dark squared bishop. But bishop b3, knight g4, so maybe I'd want to play h h3 first to prevent that. <clears throat> ah, so he's going for more of a um, Benoni setup. Okay, let's think about this again. So that opened up this diagonal, so maybe, maybe bishop b2 is not so great anymore. Or at least I have to make sure the knight is defended when I play b3. Let's see, if I play queen c2, he plays bishop f5, I could play e4, and it seems like I've got it. Okay, what is he gonna do? Probably play with uh, e6 to undermine the center. I'll play with uh, e4. The knight could also come here and attack the c pawn. So it seems like queen c2 is a good good move to meet all of that. Then the knight comes here. I can play b3, bishop b2. If he uh, plays uh, e6, I can play e4. Yeah, so let's defend it this way. Keeps that Keeps that knight from going anywhere. And the queen defends here. I need bishop b2 in and then off castle. And still... Uh, well, now I, I guess bishop f4. Bishop f5, rather. e4. Is maybe a problem. Because he can take there. If I take back, then he takes the rook in the corner. And it does attack my queen. So after bishop f5, I guess I would just play queen to... <clears throat> queen to e2 to keep the uh, d2. Queen d2 keeps the knight defended, get out of the way of the bishop. Uh, but then he could play this uh, e6 move. Uh, 
Well, he goes there first. Okay, so let's let's get out of the way. Like I said. So he goes e6, I go bishop b2. If he takes, I can take back with the knight. Uh, now if he goes e6, I guess I just have to take it. Oh, he goes there anyway. Yeah, yeah, no, that's true. Okay, so let's see. My knight is hanging, and I'm down the exchange. So I need to defend the knight somehow. Or move it. It doesn't have any squares to move to. It could go here. I could kick it. It goes here. Other than that, it's got nowhere to go. I could come back here. Well, Mr. Entity is taking his time. If he takes the knight, I take with the queen, and then I'll get this battery here. Maybe he's worried about that. But I think he just plays f6. Okay, in this case, I'm just going to castle. <clears throat> I'm going to force him to take my knight. I don't want to uh, trade bishop for bishop. I want to keep my dark squared bishop to have compens some compensation for the exchange. So he attacks that. He's going to force this, huh? This queen is loose. Can I do some trick here? Knight here. The knight doesn't move with check. Well, it goes there with check. This square is covered. Okay, he gets my uh, bishop after all. Let's see if I can trap his bishop. Doesn't have many squares at the moment. Yeah, uh, that gives him a square or two. I have to take, I think. I want to preserve as many pieces as I can here. Yeah, let's attack the. Uh, <clears throat> let's attack that backwards. That backwards pawn. He can maybe push it forward. Knight here, he takes. If I take, then my knight is hanging. Is the point. Uh, he just defends. Okay, let's pile up on it then. <clears throat> I 
Yeah, so I get some compensation then. Check that out in the postmortem. I, I clearly made some kind of mistake in the opening, so we'll, we'll see where that went wrong. That's not a line I'm all that familiar with, that um, the Benoni style, style play there. Hmm. See, yeah, I was going to go here anyway, but that's not working, is it? So I take the pawn, he takes the knight. I take the bishop. He takes back. Can I do some trick with my knight? Knight here. Here. Hitting his bishop. And the pawn. Knight here, he takes, I take, he takes, I take. Knight here, he takes, I take. He takes back, I take back. He pins and he attacks, <laughs> he attacks the knight. Hmm, yeah, I don't like that. Yes, I gotta do that. Oh, it just takes there. Okay, so now I can take the uh, bishop. He takes the knight. And what? I'm attacking this, but it's actually defended. I can get behind it. Bring my knight in. Can I move my knight with tempo? Here is not so great. Let's keep the material on. Goes there. Ah, defending his knight. Yeah, it's a pretty good piece here. Let's um, <clears throat> let's push this pawn forward. My queen is on a, a good diagonal here, so that's not working, is it? Well, knight here, rook there, knight here, check, he takes. A check here. I take the knight first. It's a little bit of a trick, but I was thinking knight here hits the queen and then knight to f6 hits the king. <clears throat> Let's see if I can turn this one around. can't go to the dark squares because I'll take the rook and it's a double check so he has to go there 
And I can check again here. He can come here. What can I do then? Let's grab a pawn. Now the queen's covering this square. Be nice if I got in there. Yeah, I'll just uh, make a home for my knight. Also, an escape square for my king. I've been expecting that check for a while. Now the queen coming in here with check is interesting. It's mate. <laughs> so, how about if I do this? And then here. Or the other one. Hard to say. Too bad I don't have a rook left. <laughs> a rook would be nice here. Uh, okay, so how do I bring that other knight in? Or the bishop? Maybe bring this guy around like this. Uh, he runs away with the king. Makes sense. Okay, I'm bringing this knight in too. Got a good square here. Looking at this square and the rook takes here. I take it. I can still take here with check. I also take here with check. <clears throat> and I can come back here with check. So I can take the rick in the corner. And then here. It's interesting. Ah, oh, oh, the pawn's in the way. Uh, let's see. Maybe here. Queen there. Okay. Hmm, push the pawn forward. <clears throat> he can block there. Hmm, okay. So there's a fork here, but I can't easily get to it. Hmm. Well, I gotta play what I gotta play. Well, those tricky nights. So I'm I'm bonds up in the end game after all of that. <laughs> But there's pawns on both sides of the board. I, I should win, but uh, it's not entirely clear. Mm. Um, okay, let's get these guys going here.
Okay, so I push, she takes, so I need to move the knight here. He's going to come in with the king. Okay, let's, let's bring the knight around this way. Okay, here we go. Looks like he lost that one. All right. Well, that was that was a nice turnaround. <laughs> I'll have to uh, I'll have to upload this game. You can just kind of blockade and push things here. He can't do anything. There, he resigned. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty clear. He couldn't do anything. Yeah, pretty pretty interesting turnaround that game. We'll check it out in the postmortem. See you guys later. Bye.